okay so now let's work on the logout functionality so close this out and here i'm going to create a logout controller so it should be also invocable controller so logout controller and we don't need this request anymore and make sure whenever we are logging out our user it will revoke the user token log out and here i'm going to implement my stops but let me create the new log out route log out and let me add this at the top log out controller yes and this should be also authenticated or you can add this uh, here because only authorized user uh, if the user is logged in then he or she can log out right so that's why i did this inside this sanctum the logout controller and here uh, how to revoke the token so let's uh, give it a read from the documentation revoking the token so you can delete these uh, to revoke uh, token issues uh, you may list them along with the revoke button within account or you can directly delete them right you can find this through the token id which is uh, uh, this one but i'm going to do this using this one right okay and uh, here i'm going to now uh, use this user and then this would be the token tokens and delete right and let me user token delete and do uh, how this one yes would be passed using this request user so let me first grab this user here this will be coming from the request user when we made the request so over this will be know so that user is here so we are passing this so we have a user object and we are calling this so deleting these users tokens right okay and after this so we can return response uh, with uh, no content i think no content like this okay and uh, i think it's fine let me copy this and I will like log out this through this token after revoking this token right and now let's uh, duplicate this uh, login route duplicate this would be the logout this would be the logout right this would be post request and we don't need this anymore right uh, we need only access token right because we added this uh, here uh, inside the protected route right so it's need the uh, token to log out this user if i will send this request it will throw that you, you are unauthenticated uh api gout couldn't be found yes it's added this api uh, prefix so here i need to add this so v1 slash logout let's send this again yes throwing unauthenticated as we expected right okay so now here uh, we need to pass the token to log out this so just go here go to this authorization bearer and uh, yes token is there right or you can pass this so uh, like this because whenever you pass this in one request it will be available into the all request you don't need to manually add this into the all request to uh, one by one okay so now let's uh, send this out click call to undefined function tokens on null okay let me verify it that i'm in this so uh, user tokens delete uh user yes here i can 
access the authenticated user so let me first check that is it returning the authenticated user or not then i will revoke this token so first to return the user send okay uh 200 but there is no response address is set no returning only one not the logged in user okay okay we need to choose this as a function like this right i'm using this as object send and yes that nazi is there so it's returning this uh, cdl1 as we logged in previously and now this will revoke this right this user object is returning null that's why it's not to destroy this token send and yes 204 no content because i returned it here no content right and uh, here if i will send it again so it says unauthenticated so it's mean that i'm now logged out and here i cannot use this anymore right if i copy this out uh, close this out go to this index is this out send this out so this wouldn't work now send yes unauthenticated i cannot use this token now because it's expired now okay right? it's deleted i visit this database and yes it's cleared all of the tokens here right and if you don't want to clear all of the tokens uh, you can only uh, do this with the token id right okay uh, so now we are successfully able to um, we are successfully able to register our user log in our user log out our user right and uh, this one is uh, overall about authentication stuff and uh, now the next stuff is authorization so authorization means that user is logged in but he is not authorized to access the specific task uh, he is only uh, res responsible for his task not the other user's task so he can view only his task not the other user's task so how to achieve this in the laravel application so we will do this in the next video and if you like this video share your feedback on this video and i will meet you in the next one bye bye guys